Hi everyone, welcome back to Essie Mod. Today we are going to be doing a cash unstuffing for the first two weeks of July. And then as always, um, we will be doing my favorite thing, um, which I have some exciting news. So that will be towards the end of the video. So I hope you watch the whole video, but if you wanna just see what the exciting news is, you can feel free to skip ahead to the end. So let's get started. <music> Okay, so today I do have some change. Um, I spent a little bit of cash. I usually um, um, don't use spend a lot of cash. I use almost um, exclusively my credit cards. And I do that because most of the time I just, um, I don't know, just in a hurry or I just always feel like I'm inconveniencing people with cash and taking like that extra time. And more and more places don't even accept cash. Um, but I do use the card for points or for cashback rewards and that kind of thing. So I do wanna still get the benefits of cash envelope stuffing and keeping track of where my money's going and how fast I'm spending it. But I am using it for now um, almost exclusively with credit cards and then moving the money in cash just to keep track. All right, so with my... Um, wallet so first off i always forget to say these things but i do have a couple of receipts here's one of them um for things that i've spent that i'm going to scan into fetch rewards where you scan receipts that you've already um paid for and then uh you get a certain amount of points and then you can cash those points in for gift cards so I do have that information included in the description below. And so if you are not already um, using Fetch, I highly recommend it because you're probably racking up receipts anyways. And at least if you just do the scanning, you can maybe get some gift cards. Okay, so starting with gratitude, um, I don't have anything here today because we tend to get a lot of ice cream in the summer with my kids and up north we have so many really cute like mom and pop old-fashioned ice cream places and so there's lots of opportunities to just put a little bit of cash in the tip jars so that's where that one kindness looks like we have one dollar i'm gonna go ahead and put that in my one dollar challenge and kindness um i ended up getting some coffee locally and ended up paying for somebody um, that was in line behind me. So coffee is always kind of my go-to kindness thing because it's really easy to pay with cash usually and there's always somebody that is just getting, you know, something kind of right in that, you know, budget of $5. So I like doing um, coffee a lot. And plus I drink a ton of coffee and I love coffee out. So I'm always at a coffee shop. Miscellaneous doesn't have anything. Kids, we didn't spend anything on other than ice cream, but we didn't really do like any kind of little matchbox toys or any little things like that. Eating out, um, I am gonna take this 20 out because I will be unstuffing um, eating out by quite a bit. And so that 20 goes towards that. All right, so that is it for my wallet. Um, I will put that over here with my coin purse and the coin jar. All right, so I know I'm gonna need a lot of change, so I'm gonna pull out the $1 challenge. Got 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I'm gonna take out 35 knowing that I have to put it back in. So starting off with, what should we start with? I think I'm gonna start off with my binder. Let's see how much change we need to put. So because I just condensed all of these envelopes, um, I need a lot of extra smaller bills to be able to make change. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so for personal, I am unstuffing $109. And this is for nails that I got done for the 4th of July. So I need to go get them done again because they're really grown out. But um, I don't know if you can see it, but red and blue. Um, and then I also, uh, when I was up north, realized that I had all these really cute sundresses and I didn't have a strapless bra to go with them. And I really don't like to show bra straps with those dresses. So, um, so I will be taking money out after. Okay, so I only have a hundred dollars here, and I think 
I'm not sure why there isn't more in there. I'll have to double check that. I did just make some um, condensed for my son's uh, binder for his allowance because we just did that before I shot this video. So it's possible that maybe I took some out of there and need to replace it. But anyway, um, I will take that $9 from somewhere else and then I will figure out what I'm supposed to do here. So maybe I will take it out of, take it out of beauty and put one dollar back in here so that means personal had nothing and beauty has 10 11 12 13 14 15. okay and that is it for my personal binder oops there we go guys it is amazing my son just did his allowance um like I said before, I sh I'm shooting this video, um, and he has, I want to say $120 in his goal envelope, and I think he has maybe $70 in his save. I am so proud of him because he keeps, like, he gets money for from various things, and he just keeps putting it away to his goal, and then I also make him put some of, any money he gets, some of it has to go into his save just so he gets used to that, you know, thinking that I have to pay myself first, but I'm so proud of him. Um, I think I said maybe the last video or two videos ago, he did buy a whale, a stuffed whale from Ikea that he, this is the second time we were at Ikea and he asked for it again. And I said to him, if you want to use your fun money for that, you can buy it. And he did. And I was wondering if he was going to have any kind of regret, um, but he, it's like his favorite. He's named the whale Wally and it's his favorite thing right now. So he sleeps with it. He brings it, he brings it on the trip with us. Um, I just... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I just am so happy to see uh, him being excited about his binder and his envelopes and being willing to pay for things for, by himself, you know, being really proud that he could pay for it. So anyways, we will move on. Okay, so the next, um, I'm sorry, next envelope I want to do is invest because it's the kids and then everything else will be in the sinking funds. So going to the kids. Um, we are going to be unstuffing $73. So take out a hundred. I'll need 20, five, six, and seven. And I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take two tens. No, I'll do the 20, 27. There we go. Cause I might need the, the tens more than the 20. And that'll be kids. And let's see, the stuff that we got, um, I ended up getting another bathing suit for two of the kids, so two bathing suits, and we need some replacement toothbrush heads because they have the little um, sauna cares for kids uh, that comes with the app. They love brushing their teeth now because they want to see the little app guy making, you know, funny faces at them and getting the sugar bugs and stuff like that. So it's been pretty cute. Um, okay, so I think next what we're going to do is we're going to work backwards here. Again, because I need to be able to break some of these big bills. So we're going to do gifts first. So gifts is unstuffing 55. So 100. I need, oh dear, how much do I need? 55. So if I give another 5, that means I take 50 back, right? Let me see. So let's do this again. So we had 100, whoops, we had 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we have 119. And if I want to t give 105, that means I can take a 50 back. Yep, okay. So we have 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, subscriptions is going to be taking out $28. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have condensed so much. Okay, so that means I need to get $22. 20, 1, and 2. So 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37.
Okay, household is 142. So let's see, household is 142. So 100. And let's see, can I do this? Yeah, I'm gonna add some of these smaller bills. So 20, 30, 40, two, just so that I don't fully run out of the ability to make change. So that leaves us with 150, 55, 56. So this was a bunch of cleaning supplies. It was some um, personal lady products. <laughs> and and uh, I think there was like some, maybe some like paper products from Costco. Eating out is going to take 143. So I took the 20, so 120. 40 and then I need seven dollars back. So one, five, six, and seven. Uh, milk delivery is going to be thirty-eight dollars, so take two back. Groceries is going to be $119, so, okay, so 200 back, and I need $81, so 50, 70, 80, 1. And then gas will be 206, so need $44 back. Okay, so 20, 40, one, two, all right. So I need to figure out a way to make a little bit more change. So let me see, is there anywhere that I had a bunch of ones? Don't think so. So I think I'm just going to see if I have some in my drawer, one second. All right, so I have five ones and a five, so I'll take this 10. So I needed 44 back. So I need one, two, three, four. There we go. And that is it for gas. So I should have $913 total in here, which seems like a lot compared to what I see in here. And then I need to remove $35. So 20, 30, all right, let's see. I don't know if that looks like, I wonder if I, I hope I did my counting correctly. So, looks like definitely 13. <laughs> so let's see. 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 850, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So yeah, exactly $913. Um, mostly in very large bills. All right, so that concludes the cash unstuffing. So my favorite thing today is basically a perfume. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but obviously I kind of like um, a lot of high-end luxury items. And so this is the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see very well. Um, but basically, it's the Baccarat Rouge 540 um, by Maison Francis Kurgian, uh Paris. And I ended up first um, seeing it from other influencers that were liking this perfume. And I kind of thought, okay, I've never even heard of this perfume. Not that I'm a big perfume person, but, you know, it just wasn't something that I'd ever heard of before. So I got really intrigued and I got influenced. Um... And so I said, this is a very expensive perfume and I did not want to commit to buying anything without obviously smelling it first. And I am lucky enough to live by stores that had uh, this perfume um, that you could go in and smell in the store. But I also wanted to see if there was like any smaller sizes. So I ended up buying this little tiny sample size 
um, and it's kind of worn away the label, but basically this little tiny sample size um, from, I believe it's called Micro Perfumes. I'll put the information in the description below. And I bought a couple other perfumes. So I really like the idea of this because you don't have to commit to buying a gigantic bottle worth hundreds of dollars. Um, I think it was, some of their perfumes are very low, maybe $10 for a sample just to try it out if you aren't near a location where you can actually go to the store. Or for me, I wanted to smell it over multiple days. I didn't want to just have a one-time, you know, spritz in the store and then try to remember what it smelled like, you know, a couple hours later. So... These two, um, I believe this is the heavier, this is the perfume and this is the Eau de Perfume um, that's a little bit lighter. So there is a difference. One has um, what's called the bitter almond undertone to it. And so it smells slightly, um, I don't wanna say heavier, but it's a little bit more bitter. Whereas the Eau de Perfume is uh, a much lighter smell. I kind of think it smells like cotton candy, which sounds maybe kind of gross as a perfume, but I, I think it's really pretty. My husband, um, when he first smelled it, said um, that it was his favorite perfume. Like he would get it for me anytime I ran out. He like loves this perfume. So, um, and he's not really a scent person. So it was, it was notable that he actually commented and liked it and was like, yes, you always have to have this in your repertoire. So anyways, so the exciting thing for me so this is the um travel size and again this is of the um lighter scent um eau de parfum whereas this one is the heavier scent like the the full perfume with the bitter almonds so again i was on social media and i ended up seeing an ad for a baccarat rouge 540 dupe so i ended up getting it and it comes in this gigantic bottle with this slightly off-centered sticker. So um, right away, I'm kind of like, okay, quality is not, you know, necessarily there. Um, or quality control, I guess. But I want to say that I do really like this dupe. I think it's very, very similar. The one thing why I am not a huge fan of this, and I will also link this um, in the description, is that it is more similar to the full perfume, not the Eau de Perfume. And I myself, I like florals. I like, you know, like the Issey Miyakis. I like the um, Chanel Chance perfume. So lighter, floral, kind of not very heavy or spicy or woodsy scents. And so this one's a little bit woodsier. I, I think that's what you would, I would describe the bitter almond. So again, very long winded uh, description, but what I am excited to share is that I now have 500 followers. I am halfway to my viewing hours um, until my channel could get monetized um, as well as uh, subscribers. So I have this dupe of the full um, Baccarat Rouge 540 and I am going to give this away to one of you that's viewing this video. And I will list all of the rules for the giveaway in the description below. But essentially, I am not sponsored in any way by any of these companies. Um, I just really like the perfume and I was really looking for a dupe or a sample size. Um, and so if you subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, and you comment on this video, um, and then you also, if you have an Instagram please um, include your Instagram handle in your comment because I will pr I prefer to reach out um, DM on Instagram. But if you don't um, and I end up, you know, selecting your comment, then I will, I will comment back to you and we'll, we'll figure out a way to, to get details, privacy details. Um, please comment what your favorite perfume is. Um, it doesn't have to be Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, it doesn't even have to be anything branded. You could just say like, I like floral, I like woodsy. Um, but I'm just really curious to see what other perfumes people really like, maybe why. Um, and then out of the contest will run um, until the end of the month. And then on the end of the month in the recap um, video, I will announce the winner. So again, all the details will be in the description below. Um, you don't, I'm not sponsored. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to buy anything. Um, I believe this can be international. Um, I'm not restricting it. Um, the only thing I have to check, double check, and I probably should have before I said that, is whether I can actually ship a perfume across um, international lines. But 
Um, I know a lot of people restrict it to just domestic and I kind of feel badly that our international viewers always get left out. So please, um, again, thank you for watching. And if you are in, at all interested in a dupe of the Baccarat Rouge 540 full perfume scent, not the Eau de Perfume, but the full perfume scent, um, I think you're going to really like this. So please go ahead and comment. Tell me what your favorite perfume is. And I look forward to selecting and announcing a winner. Thank you. Bye.